So here's the thing, since I posted my last video, I went through or at least tried to go through all my past videos and I'm just really not pleased with them to be frank. I know I could do better and still I'm just too shy or too ashamed to ask for other people's opinions. That's why I'm making this video. To continue that cycle of ignorance. All jokes aside, I know from personal experience that even if someone points out the really obvious mistakes, I tend to forget about it. Uh, it's more like left ear in and right ear out kind of deal. Uh, my learning ability somehow limits me that I only learn when I see my own mistakes. Does this mean that I can't really um, take any criticism? Yeah, you could say that, although I would disagree. But I know that when I notice my mistakes on my own, I tend to understand it more and try to find a solution to fix it. But because the issue for me isn't about finding uh, those mistakes, it is about fixing them instead. Well, at least that's how I've experienced it through my life. Hope you guys won't judge me for that because that's just how I've always been. Be it with my maths, my life problems, and even school projects. I'm fine with finding my own flaws in myself or in the things that I do, but I really do need help um, trying to find solutions to fix them. Now, why the long-winded explanation? Well, in my last video, I mentioned that I am trying to improve myself. So, I decided to start with my video making skills. I know it won't be easy, but I just want to get things started, you know? In this video, I'm going to make a list of the things I could definitely improve in my videos and try to find some solutions to help make some changes to actually improve your viewing experience. Yes, your viewing experience. So let's just get this started, shall we? First things first, here's a list of things that I can improve. Um, number one, my script, especially when it comes to um, explaining things concisely. Number two, my B-roll footage. So you then, so you don't have to sit through the whole video just watching my ugly mug. Number three, uh, the sound of my voice. Number four, my background. And number five, and number five, maybe even my face. Uh, scratch that. I'm beautiful just the way I am. So let's talk about the script. Even though I am a columnist for a magazine, I still get that my writing isn't the best out there. I still can't explain things in the simplest way possible, and I notice that I tend to talk in circles and over-explain about things that don't need to be. I understand that's why not many people even reach the end of my videos, and because of this issue. I'm also pretty indecisive on things I talk about, uh, thinking of what I should or should not include in my either in my writing or in my videos. And oftentimes I would talk too much about something that isn't important while forgetting to mention the things that are important to the conversation. Here's what I'm going to do about my script writing, which is to actually plan it. I've always been taught the importance of planning for my writing, yet I haven't done it since leaving school. That's why I tend to over-explain and miss out on the important details. And I'm also going to try my best to keep, to keep things the simplest, as simple as possible. Alright, next problem, my B-rolls. If you don't know, B-rolls are the clips you see in videos that aren't really uh, the main video, if that makes sense. 
it's much easier for me to show you guys instead of trying to over explain it now you see this now you see me talking to you guys this is what's called an a roll but when i transition to something like a clip of me actually writing the script or um, rereading the script before um, recording this video um, that is what's called the b-roll it's all the while i'm conversing with you guys in the background while showing showing you guys another clip so i hope you guys get it the problems with my b-rolls are that they're just not enough for the video and that they don't necessarily correlate to the things i'm talking about at the exact moment of any video that i've made to be honest i'm not a great video shooter to begin with so my b-rolls are always shaky random underexposed overexposed just plain atrocious to be honest i can take pictures just fine i mean look at this picture that i took that picture is an example of what's in my mind of how my b-roll should look like but instead they just look like this yeah, not so much of a great shot, isn't it? So how am I going to solve this issue? Well, again, I need to plan out my shots better. I need to think about the relevant shots needed to convey my points and the multiple angles that I should shoot from. I have to learn how to correctly hold and move my camera as well while implementing what I know in my photography into my videography i might even s start using i'm um, just plain pictures instead of going full on with video b-rolls at the end of the day we'll just see how that goes next i mentioned the sound of my voice i really don't like my voice to be honest be it me singing or even just talking to people I also cringe every time I edit my videos because I need to look at my face and even worse, listen to my voice. Anyway, have you ever had the conception that your voice is totally different from how you actually sound like? Well, I have and I actually sound more whiny compared to how I imagine myself sounding. And I'm sure most of you guys will agree with me. I can't really change much about reality and how my voice sounds. And I really don't prefer to completely change how my voice is to other people. What I can do is to try and speak uh, more clearly and try not to hiss too much. I have tried to edit my voice with software such as Audacity and Premiere Pro but I understand that those software can only do so much. Plus, this is the way I speak and I can only improve so much. So I can't make too many promises when it comes to this one but I will try to improve it here and there. Lastly, my background. Plain and simple, it's always been messy. Um, through time, it has changed and through time, I'll try to make it more presentable to you guys. I've always wanted a minimalist kind of vibe for my videos, but with my current situation right now and the hoarding problem I mentioned in my last video, um, that vision of a minimalist vibe is kind of out of reach for the moment. So, hope you guys can stick so I hope you guys can stick with me through future videos and just see how things go. Now, there are some things that I'm sure bothers a lot of you guys that I didn't mention. For example, my accent. It's consistently Malaysian. My pronunciations tend to skew between being um, either British or American or even a mix of other languages. Look, I just can't help it, okay? I might improve over time, but honestly, I don't mind it at this point. Yeah, I get that it's annoying, but I simply accepted that this is how I speak. Then there's the confidence issue. 
I am not a confident guy and it shows in my videos and even in my script. And I think that's okay. I figured out what I'm not comfortable with doing and what I'm not too confident in, which is talking to a camera and even especially so when I don't have a plan in talking. For now, I find reading straight from a monitor or in this case through my phone to be the most comfortable thing for me. And I won't really hide that because it's just easier for me. Um, yeah, I tend to go off script at times. You'll notice that when I try and think too hard on what I should say next. I also did not mention my editing style, which is consistently inconsistent. That makes sense to you guys. But I hope, but I have noticed that doing a lot of cuts just for my speech itself, me talking to the camera is not only tiring for me to edit, but will also be tiring for you guys to listen to. And I get that. Now, I'm committed to simply reading from my monitor. I don't think I'll have to do those cuts much often anymore. Major mistakes do need to be cut out, but I think I'll just leave most of my footage uncut from now on. So, yeah, that's just it. See you guys in the next one, I guess. Okay, bye.